work, work, work. That's all I do. I hire a domestic. It's like adopting a child. He creates work for me. I ask him to do a few simple tasks. Water the flowers. What happens? I end up watering the flowers. Well, you little darling, you're blooming. Here. I hope you strangle on it. You're lucky to get it. Little flowers in China don't even get water. Hello, travelers. Boy, this is our lucky day. She seems real nice. Welcome to Auntie Nell. Boy, right this in. is our lucky day. She seems real nice. We're going to have a little we don't have a chance. We're going to meet lots of nice young people. We'll have... <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen, but it's weird. Maybe someone's in the kitchen, I know where I'm at. Someone's in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Come on, suck it, head. They're waiting to eat. Booyabase cannot be hurried, Doctor. Now, battery breath, now! It really needs a few more minutes, Doctor, for the ingredients to marry their essences. Now, all of a sudden, I've got a Julia Child to deal with. But, but, but Doctor, I, I, oh, 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 I'm not microphone, Doctor! Oh, 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 oh. This is no trick. Her work would make me think this was a trick. All right, Miss Grump, just be that way. She'll feel much better after a hot meal and some sleep. So will I. So pick up those fingers there, Bolthead, and mop up the rest of that oil. Please forgive any disturbance. I don't suppose I have to tell you how hard it is to find suitable help nowadays. I know just what you mean. It smells yummy. I am starved. Oh, me too. It's from an old family recipe. Um, aren't you eating? No, dear. I'm on a water diet. Well, I hope you're taking a vitamin supplement. I try to take care of myself. My son, Jaime, he never took care of himself. He didn't weigh 90 pounds soaked in paving tar. Well, I'm famished. What's in this, anyway? Oh, just some fresh herbs and things from the garden. Bonjour. This is the incompetent I mentioned earlier. Why, the mademoiselle? Please. I hope it's called duck. You would. And you, madam? Uh, none for me, thanks. It's an excellent year. It's audacious and yet endearingly understated. Well, I, I usually don't drink, but, well, tonight feels special. Uh, no thanks. I would consider it a personal insult to my hospitality if you did not drink a toast to my dead son, Jaime. What's the matter with you, Doris? It smells like an excellent year. A bit presumptuous, but not too brash. Sort of fizzy. Tickles my nose. Oh, she is so cute. Come on, Doris. All right, but I've got a bad feeling. To those weary travelers who came so unexpectedly and brought with them such happiness for a tired old woman. You don't know what it means to me to have company. Me. A tired old woman with a dead son who is no longer alive. Well, I guess you don't get many people here. You build a little restaurant. You try to make a way for yourself in your later years. And what happens? They move the flippin' highway. And in the name of progress. 
Merci beaucoup. Doris, you're embarrassing me. tell you i've got a bad feeling you said you've got to learn to trust those instincts honey they look just like jaime only bigger <laughs> 